Hello everyone. If you want to sum the top n values in a range matching with criteria, you can use a formula based on the large function wrapped inside with the sum product function. So in my previous video, I have just showed you how to use the large function into the sum product function to sum the top n values or you can also use the small function there I have showed you if you didn't watch that video I will give you the link into the description box and also in the i button you can check it from here in this example you can see that I have a sample database where I have a size chart and along with the quantity chart here and here we want the top three columns or top three values to be added and summed and here in this case we also have a condition that is the size should be included into this function right so I will show you the total process of this function in this video welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel sum series that is running into your favorite channel technical portal this is your host Pritam and don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook into my description box so please check it out so to do so so to do so we need to use the sum product function in the beginning right so use the sum product function by using equation symbol then use the sum product now here it is asking for array 1 here we need to use the large function as well as you can use the small function here if you want the top smallest values to be summed right now here to include the conditions into this function you need to use the parentheses once more then at first we are searching for the size right so where is our size located that is from b5 to b14 cell right so don't forget to press the F4 key to lock the data range equals to and where it will be searched for the lookup value is this one. So select that cell, close the parentheses, now insert an asterisk, now again open the parentheses. Now here we need to use the quantity that means what it will be searched for. Select the quantity data range now again lock the range by pressing the F4 key from your keyboard close the parentheses now insert a comma now here as the large second argument that is K we need to insert the array so here we are going to use the top three values so insert a curly bracket then write number one comma two comma three then close the curly bracket you can insert the top n values here by inserting comma and the number as the array function so close the parentheses and hit the enter button look at here you will get the result according to your condition right if we change the value of size by pressing M it will show you the result according to your database right and as we have locked the data ranges so if we copy the formula from upside down it will show you the accurate result so let's check how this formula actually works this is the actual simplest form of large function or the small function here which returns the nth largest value in the range with this construction we have inserted here as an array right but note that carefully that this formula will not handle any text value in the value range that is we have given here to do so like suppose you have any text value here so it will show you the result as an error to get rid of this value error we can do so like this you can check it here I am showing you insert the table here once more so here we need to the formula like this equals to sum now here we need to use the if error function now insert the if error we need to use the large or small function here again we need to use here if function now open and parenthesis again now it is asking for logical test and here we are going to use our conditions that where it will be searched for it will be searched for the size into the b5 to b14 cell press the f4 key to lock your data range equation symbol then what it will search for it will search for a value which is located into e5 cell right so close the parentheses insert a comma now it is asking for value if true what it will search for 
it will show for the value which is located into the C5 to C14 cell. Again lock the range, close the parenthesis again of the if value. Now insert a comma, now it is asking for the large second argument that is K. Now here insert in curly bracket 1, 2, 3 as we are searching for the top 3 values. Close the curly bracket, close the parenthesis of if error function, now insert a comma and and what is the second argument of if error function that is value if error so we want to show the value 0 when it is an error right so close the parenthesis and don't directly hit the enter button because this is an array function hit the enter button with pressing control and shift control shift and enter it will show you the result automatically right and if you copy the formula from upside down it will show you the result according to your database it doesn't have any problem if you have any text value into your value range right so if you change the text value from the value range it will show you the result automatically right so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i will come back soon with another interesting video Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.